people are hesitant to, to do inpatient trial, partly just because of the physical demands of it. I mean, you're in a different space, you know? Like, when you're at home, you have everything in, in this specific spot. You've got your grab bar, you've got your whatever, your shower all twigged just right for you. That is probably the most difficult thing about an inpatient stay, that you're in an unfamiliar place. And that's why I think it's so valuable that uh, Clinical Labs is dedicated to figuring out how to make it possible and, and comfortable. The study duration is approximately two months in length with a screening period, treatment period, and follow-up period. During this time, you will have a telehealth visit, study visits conducted at your home by a visiting nurse during screening and follow-up, and an extended inpatient stay at the clinical research unit where you receive study drug and be monitored until you have been discharged. The clinical research unit is located in Eatontown, New Jersey, and participants will be eligible for travel reimbursement and compensation for participating. Accommodations at the research unit include private bedrooms, on-site Wi-Fi, catered meals, and entertainment such as pool tables, video games, board games, and organized activities. My name is Jennifer Schachtel, and I am the Associate Director for Phase 1 Clinical Operations and Project Management for the CRU. I work in the clinical unit, and I help to oversee the trials with the study coordinator team and the clinical operations team as far as doing procedures, running testing. I get to work with patients from the time that they begin the screening process all the way to completion of the trial. I'm able to comfort them, address any concerns that they may have, and keeping them happy and uh, moving along with the study. Since it's a compound that's never been tested before, you know, I, safety is the number one priority, and I know that that's what Clinical Labs and Chondrial Therapeutics has in mind for this clinical trial. As you may know, COVID-19, which is caused by the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, has been declared a worldwide pandemic by the World Health Organization and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. COVID-19 is extremely contagious and is believed to spread from close person-to-person -person contact. As a result, federal and state health agencies recommend social distancing maintaining at least six feet distance apart from others, wearing masks, and rigorous hand washing. To keep you as safe as possible while participating in the study, preventative measures have been put into effect. These include the administration at several time points of a COVID-19 screening questionnaire based on information from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, a lab test for the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, the virus that causes COVID-19, using a testing methodology called reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction, self-quarantining, practicing social distancing, and use of a mask per the CDC current guidelines for 14 days prior to traveling to the clinic to limit potential exposure to the virus. Use of a mask while traveling to the clinic and during your stay at the clinic. COVID-19 screening questionnaires and tests may be ordered at any time during the study if deemed necessary by the clinic staff to determine your COVID-19 status. This is a trial for a compound called CTI-1601 for chondrial therapeutics. They're the ones testing this drug and they've contracted with clinical labs to perform the clinical trial. You may be eligible if you are 18 years of age or older, have genetically confirmed Friedrich's ataxia, homozygous GAA repeat expansions with repeat sizing, are able to traverse 25 feet with or without an assistive device, are able to perform basic daily care with minimal assistance be able to sit upright with thighs together and arms crossed without requiring support on more than two sides. Be able to transfer from bed to chair either independently or with assistance while physically contributing to the transfer in some ways such as being able to partially support your weight. 